Number 17, what is the value of x in the equation 5 times 2x minus 4 divided by 3 plus 9 equals 14? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to rewrite my equation. So I'm going to rewrite 5 times 2x minus 4 divided by 3 plus 9 equals 14. And if you remember, the steps to an equation are parentheses, combine like terms, variables on one side, numbers on the other, number attached to x, you get rid of by dividing. So if we look at this equation, I do have parentheses, I have them in my numerator. So the first thing I'm going to do is distribute that 5 to 2x and that 5 to minus 4. So 5 times 2x is 10x, so I have 10x, 5 times negative 4 is a negative 20, and I'm going to have it all over 3 plus 9 equal to 14. So boom, my parentheses are done. Now, there are no like terms on the left-hand side to combine. My variable's on one side, but my numbers on, aren't on the other side. Now you might think, okay, multiply by this three and get rid of that, right? Not the case. I can't touch that three until the nine is on the other side. So there's sort of like a brick wall around this term where I can't really do anything to it. So what we need to ask ourselves is how do I get that nine on the right hand side of my equation? And it's actually straightforward. It's being added, so now I'm gonna subtract it. So we need to know 14 minus nine is five. So right now I have 10x minus 20 divided by three equals five. Now remember, when we're dividing by a number, we could easily just cross multiply it. So now I have three times five and three times five is 15. So now I have 10x minus 20 equals 15. And now we ask ourselves, how do we get rid of our subtract 20? Well, we add 20 to both sides of our equation. So my 20s cancel, and now I'm left with 10x equals 35. And now I ask myself, how do I get rid of the 10 that's attached to my x? Well, I divide it. So I divide by 10, divide by 10, 10s cancel, and now I get x is equal to 3.5. Let's see if that's an answer. It is choice number two.